welcome everyone for those who are interested in hardcore very uh, realistic artillery I was asked if I could do a realistic artillery tutorial uh, featuring mortars yes well uh, it, it is going to be long and difficult so bear with me I will be doing five man's job here I set up a little mission here here is your my mortar uh, here somewhere here I have a forward observation post and I'm expecting enemies at Yua Nina so let's get into it let's get to the forward observation post we have a soldier there we are supposed to find targets there it is with my binocular I said it is a squad of uh, Bundeswehr soldiers and I get their exact location you see that's my bearing I'm watching at the road so they should be standing in front of this house let's suppose I relay back that information to to the mortar what do they do? well they measure what they measure it is the target azimuth the first the most important thing it is what azimuth our target is at what azimuth our target is because we would like to align our barrel with that azimuth let's then close to the motor because it does not show the motor stand on the motor and we can make a precise measurement I know it's a little cheating but okay So it's uh, it's 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 they are over there. You remember they were standing here in front of that house somewhere here, and the azimuth of that target is uh, 51, 10, 20, 25, 26, 51, 26. So our target azimuth is 51, 26. Let's put that down. Uh, I have a notepad here which I'll put my target azimuth is 51.26 let's get the target distance target distance is you see 700 1800 meters it's 1900 but we should be back like uh, 1880 so the target distance is 1880 meters that's meals that's meals and that's Russian meals don't don't forget that's Russian meals <coughs> let's see if we have some elevation difference that is uh, at uh, 16 meters and our position is at 3 meters that gives us 13 plus 13 meters elevation difference that's these are the data we need yeah what well, we need to orient our motor yeah we need a point on the map or either an aiming circle or whatever but let's do the simple thing orient ourselves to the well-known north edge of this bar we have on the west from our position so that would be our orientation angle is 45 oh well it's it's not exactly 05 so it's 4504 okay so let's put that down our orientation azimuth will be 4504 what is it meals Russian meals <coughs> so uh, what is it how, how do we how do we get to our target with these uh, uh, with these things well, it is easy I want my my uh, mortar to face 51 27 26 mils yeah I want my mortar to face 51 26 mils uh, you know that these all Russian or all artillery sites when they see forward they will show 300 zero zero and they are numbered counterclockwise so uh, so I want my 300 zero zero be at 51 26 
How do I do this? Because I know that 4505, I, I need to find out at what angle I have to see 4505 in my scope. How do I find out? What is the difference? 5126 is a bit, the angle between 5126 and 4505 will be exactly the angle I have to see between my orientation point and between my barrel. So what is the difference? Let's subtract. Uh, let's subtract. Uh, 50. Let's subtract, uh, what is it, 5126, 5126, and subtract 4505, 4505, and what you get is 621. Uh, that's the uh, azimuth, azimuth difference is 621. Why is it important? Because that's what I want to see. That's the ultimate difference. That, that, that is the difference I want to set up between the orientation point and the barrel of my gun. How do I do that? Well, it is easy. I set my sight of my sight. I set to 3000 plus 621. And if I, so that means 3621. And I have to rotate my sight to that orientation point. So my goal is 36. 21. That is my sight azimuth will be 3621. So if my sight will see 3621 and I see the orientation as orientation point, that means my barrel will be at 5126. How do I do that? Well, it is um, is it is from now on it is just measuring. Well, first I need to roughly set up my gun. What was that? 5126. So I 51 51 20, 51, 26, 51, 26, somewhere here, it should be, let's see, 301, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 307 degrees from my point, so I have to roughly orient my mortar to 307 degrees, how do I do that, well, I, let me see how, where my mortar is oriented now, why do I need to do this, because because mortar has a very limited traverse, so it's exactly north through there. So 300. What was that? 307. 300. 307. Will be somewhere like here. 307. 307. Okay. Let's get into the mortar as. Let's get into the mortar, get in as uh, Dvunoga, it is a uh, bipod. Let's rotate it a little bit, get out and check our azimuth now. We just do now roughly, we don't need to precise, we will be precise, measuring precisely later. That shows about 300, you see 12, 300. Well, no, 330 something. So I see it need to go down to 307. That's about 20 degrees more. Get back to the gut. Get in as a bipod. And let's see it. Let's try to rotate it 20 degrees. Yeah, well, you need to be a little well precise in the, for the first set up because you have very limited room in rotating 300 well that's 15 that's too much let's again rotate like 10 degrees that's a bipod we get out Oh, we need a compass again. Yeah, what is it? Well, it's 312. It's too much then. That's a... That is a... <coughs> that is normally done by five. Well, at least three or four people. So, uh, let's 
Well, that should. That's 311 steel. 311. Wow. That is just fine. That should be fine. Okay. So we did our rough. set up we need to now dig in the back of our mortar to be more stable that's it and then make our adjustments how do we do that we get in as a we get in as a as a gunner now would you a gunner what do we see we see exactly forward you see we our, our site is now leaned on the right so with the Gillette in insert that's you see the scale we have to we have to level it eyes now where we see we see exactly forward where are uh, 307 degrees what we just uh, realized that 3621 will give us the correct azimuth if we set our side to 30 3621 so let's set up our side to 3621 32 33 30 36 36 a little bit and 21 now this is now this is uh, the angle I have to see so now I'm, I'm, I, I, I was just rotating the side with the Z and X now I with the arrows rotate the entire gun and I rotate the gun you see there is the north part of the bar onto my orientation point that's it I rotated my gun onto the orientation point now get out and let's now our gun is pointing towards our target what we need to do now is to find out how do we shoot that far? Well, we have our good old range table. You see, the uh, the week will not be enough. The first charge will not be enough. The second, 1,880 meters. That uh, that should be the second charge should be enough. You see, <coughs> you have what? You have um, at 850, 698 the elevation. And 9,715. 9, so difference will be 17 mils, and 17 mils difference gives you 50 meters difference. So how do you find it out? I I love these. People. You can use calculator, but I don't like them. So it is. I've set like 50 meters. It's here. You see the red line, the middle red line, and you set 17. It's here on the bottom scale, and if you set there if you go back to one you will get that one mil elevation give you it gives you 4.2 meters how many meters you need you need 30 to get to 30 meters how many meals you need to get to 30 meters well you come to 30 meters here and that's it 7.2 mils so you need 7.2 mils so to the base elevation of uh, 698 you have to add 7 mils that would be uh, 705 yeah 705 705 and we also have 10 meters of uh, of altitude difference but 10 meters of altitude difference you see 100 meters of difference we just got one mil so we don't really need that so what we just did is we get to 7.2 meals. We had 7.2 meals to 698. That means uh, 705, probably 706. Make it 706. Let's get into our. Mortar as a. As a gunner. Bring up the side. And uh, it is the, the lower scale. What in, which sh shows now thousand exactly ten zero zero 
and if I pitch up and pitch down you see that will change so now it is in thousand and what where I need to be at uh, at uh, 707 so it's 900 we go to what it's 8 now it's 7 706 that was our elevation 706 and now we elevate our gun until you see the bubble next to our elevation scale starts to rise up let it rise up wonderful now our leveling is again off you see the horizontal leveling so we need to level your gun out with the deleted insert that's I level my gun out and again rotate to the orientation point with the arrows that's it now our level is gain off so I adjust the level and back to the orientation point everything is fine level we are at 706 so we are ready to fire I get out <coughs> I come to the charges window key interaction I prepare what 82 millimeter round with second charge and let's see let's prepare three pieces that's when you basically attach explosive to the fins you see and you see our, our mortar rounds we get into the mortar as a loader Zarezaishi and if we bring up with the Windows key the interaction key we will see that we have the mortar round we put in the mortar round and fire let's get to our let's get to our forward observer and see if we did it well It's 20 30 seconds. Should be 20 30 seconds. Here comes. Whoa! We just hit them. They are all dead. That's how to do it. Bye.